This video shows how to replace the M.2 2230 solid state drive on an Inspiron 16 7640 2-in-1. Before we begin, create a recovery drive and back up all data. Ensure that you always use ESD protection when working inside the computer. First, disconnect all the attached peripherals and enter service mode. To do this, press and hold the B key on the keyboard and then press the power button. Now, the computer will boot up and the owner tag information is displayed on the screen. Press any key to proceed. The computer will emit three short beeps and shut down. To remove the bottom cover, loosen the three captive screws and then remove the five screws that secure the base cover to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Using a plastic scribe, pry the base cover from the top left at the hinge and then continue to work on the sides to open the base cover. Slide and lift the base cover off the palm rest and keyboard assembly. To remove the SSD, remove the screw that secures the M.2 2230 thermal shield in place. Lift the solid state drive assembly at an angle, then slide the assembly from the M.2 SSD slot on the system board. Turn and place it on a flat, dry surface. Remove the screw that secures the SSD to the thermal shield and remove the drive from the shield. Now let's install the M.2 2230 solid state drive. Align the screw hole on the M.2 SSD with the screw hole on the M.2 thermal shield. Replace the screw that secures the shield to the drive. Now, locate the notch on the SSD. Align the notch with a tab on the SSD slot. Slide the assembly into the SSD slot on the system board. And then, replace the screw that secures the M.2 thermal shield to the system board. Now, let's install the base cover. Align and snap the base cover into place on the palm wrist and keyboard assembly. Tighten the three captive screws on the base cover and then replace the five screws that secure the base cover to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. With the computer assembled, connect the power adapter. Press the power button to power on the computer to exit from service mode. Please note, the computer will only turn on if the power adapter is connected. If you need more information or assistance, go to dell.com forward slash support.